Hi first graders! This week we are learning all about being assertive, which means that you are explaining what you need or what you want, but in a firm and calm voice. Um, and immediately I thought of one of my favorite books where one of the characters is learning how to be more assertive. And I want you to be thinking about how he's choosing to be assertive while I'm reading it. And it is called The Lion Inside, written by Jim Field. In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny full house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown mouse. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. He got stepped on and sat on, he missed out on fun stuff, ignored and forgotten, his mouse life was tough. And he's saying, ow, ouch. Look at his face. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was Lion O'Clock. This huge, toothy creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could roar. He was head of the pack. He was shouty and proud. He loved flexing his biceps and wowing the crowd. Yes, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. If only, the, thought the mouse, I could be more like that. Look, the little mouse is looking on. Then, late one dark night, in his tiny mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He leaped up in the darkness and held up a paw. I've got it, he said. What I need is a roar. I mean, what if this mouth with the weeniest squeak were, were a little more grrr and a little less meek? Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in, and life would be nice. So the little mouse is wanting to be less passive and a little bit more um, assertive. Yes, thought the mouse, I must find out how. I will learn how to roar and I will learn it right now. But it won't be easy. There was only one beast who could teach him this thing, but it might make him a feast. It was time to be strong, take a chance, after all. Forever was such a long time to feel small. Hmm. I wonder if the lion's going to help him or if the lion's going to eat him. So he made himself brave and he thought like a winner. He set off for the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do, but if you want things to change, you first have to change you. He must be using some positive self-talk to feel like a winner. I like it. The father he oh the farther he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Then at last, as he stood on his tippy toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. <clears throat> Pardon me, wake up, Mr. Lion, you've got company. Um, squeak, Mr. Lion, what I've come to you for is... Squeak, do you think you could teach me to roar? This little mouse is being brave. A silence befell that twinkling plane. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. 
Time went so slowly, it felt like a week. Then he opened his mouth and let out a... Eek! <laughs> the lion curled up in a terrified ball. He didn't like this, not one bit at all. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, this mighty great lion was frightened of mice. Don't worry, Mouse peeped. I'm here as a friend. Let's hang out together. Be pals till the end. That was a magical moment for sure, when the mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice and learned to speak out. And for that, you don't need to roar or to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better. Now that rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. He sang, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. I love it. So the lion used to be a little bit aggressive and he learned to tone it down a little bit. And the mouse used to be too passive and she learned how to be a little bit more assertive. I love it. I hope you enjoyed the book.